to get this out of the way, I am sick and tired of Let It Go. I thought it is so catchy, it's annoying. I thought it's an annoying song. I don't like Let It Go. Dislike Simmer. <laughs> oh, and the movie Frozen, it's an average kid's movie. It's no Lion King, which has plenty of resemblances from what I've heard. <laughs> or any to the... It's not the Lion King or Aladdin. Or Hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> I didn't react. I didn't do a reaction video to the first trailer because uh, I wasn't clear. I wasn't gonna be in to Frozen Two that much. I'm. I might check it out when it comes out for DVD. Uh, maybe rented or download movie online or something. But uh, I'm not gonna see it in the theaters. Because uh, I'm not usually a fan of musicals. I don't really enjoy musicals anymore. And it just feels extremely awkward. And makes me feel less of a man. Or it just makes me feel awkward. Because... It, let me explain. Yes, I do come back to a few Disney films from time to time. And do enjoy the songs. But the reason I don't enjoy new musicals these days... Maybe has something to do with the fact that I'm an adult and it doesn't feel very adult to listen to some songs Unless it's for hilarious purposes like Family Guy or stuff like that Um As a child I can enjoy them But as an adult eh, Because uh, As a child I enjoy cartoony things Bugs Bunny, Mickey Mouse but as an adult, currently, I enjoy guns. The violence, the action, the PG-13 comic book movies. There's um, Mickey Mouse and other cartoons, Disney princesses and stuff. And then there's John Rambo, Deadpool... Alien Xenomorphs and Resident Evil 2 remake. <sighs> but uh, I did see the first trailer and I gotta say, it looks... It's a pretty interesting trailer. I mean, there's no dialogue, maybe one or two words. That you can barely notice. And it seems to have, to have a little bit of a darker tone than the first movie. And a part of me kind of regrets it. Because uh, that's clearly a reaction video where the crap going on there. And then there's Frozen 2. The official trailer 2. <laughs> They're using the same music. Elsa, the past is not what it seems. You must find the truth. Go north across the enchanted lands and into the unknown. Hey. To la this. This woods with the fog? And. The. And in cave? Does this remind anyone of God of War 2018 in the opening level? Look at this. Uh, wait. Does this remind anyone of God of War the opening? Cause it kind of looks like it. <laughs> Lands and into the unknown. But be careful. Always fear Elsa's powers were too much for this world. Now we must hope. They are enough. I 
won't let anything happen to her. What the shit? This is a bit darker and a bit more epic, even by the first film standards, <laughs> Lion King standards. But uh, a, one of the plot in the first movie, Elsa is scared because of what she did to Anna when they were kids, and as a result, her powers are out of control. And by l and love defrosts everything. Apparently, you know how Disney goes. <laughs> Even when they do Greek mythology like Hercules, it's about heart. <laughs> but I don't think it really matters much because I bashed him in the face multiple times in God of War three. <laughs> I'm s and I'm sorry to be bringing God of War while doing a reaction video to a Disney film trailer, but I just can't help it. Okay, but going back to this, being serious. So, apparently we're going to be diving deeper into Elsa's powers to where she comes from? Like, are we gonna be learning the origins about her ice powers? Like, could they be dark magic? Because there was some purple glowy crap going on that separates. It does make me wonder if there's a far more power, if there's a powerful villain that even Elsa's ice powers, despite how powerful she is, as demonstrated in the first movie. This maybe this vil maybe this villain or villainess of the movie, which has never been revealed yet, could be far more powerful for Elsa to deal with. I mean, Elsa may be considered to be the most powerful of all the Disney princesses. I mean, she caused a she basically switched summer to winter due to how out of control her powers is. And she made an ice castle? That seems to be her maximum potential. And uh, <laughs> it does make me wonder. In the first trailer of Frozen 2, if she's so powerful, why is she struggling to... I mean, she could walk on water still, but uh, I get the feeling that uh, she could do far more better. <laughs> but uh, yeah. And uh, they use the same music from the first trailer as if it's one of the most epic things ever. And yeah, it is pretty epic. Okay, one more time. But not God of War epic. <laughs> okay, that's the last one. Uh, but yeah, it is quite interesting that we're going to be potentially diving deeper into Elsa's powers and where she came from. I mean, Mad Pat the Theorist put together that maybe... She has the same parent, or somebody has the same uh, uh, tangled parent, or something. I mean, Rapunzel's got this uh, long magic ass hair that can heal wounds and de age. And it may be from the same flower that created the ice powers. But uh, I, I forgot how that theory went. I'm still not going to see it in theaters because uh, I want to skip the musicals. 
<laughs> I think the biggest problem with theaters is that you can't really skip cringy scenes. So, yeah. I might check it out when it comes comes out, but uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm more concerned with whether or not we'll get the actual Disney Princess spinoff in the Ralph Breaks the Internet. And if it'll have other Avengers and Star Wars characters, considering it's in it on my Disney's website.com. I actually do have some ideas of how they could play it out. I do have some ideas to give for Disney, and I really do hope that Disney does check out my video and considers it. I'm not sure when I'll post this idea video, but uh, I am planning to do that at some point, because let's face it, who wants more of the Disney princesses together? I mean, I want to see them interact with each other. Belle and Ariel especially. I mean, that's a good, that's a great thing about crossovers. I like to see characters interact with each other whenever they're not fighting each other to the death. <laughs> Anyways, that's all.